Yeah, I spent a couple of years running a melatonin study, you know, hoping to find a, a, at least a, you know, I was hoping to find a profound psychoactive effect of melatonin. Um, and then it would have been rather simple um, that the pineal makes melatonin and melatonin has psychedelic properties and uh, case closed. But uh, it turned out that melatonin psychoactive properties were quite mild. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what to do. I um, started devising another melatonin study. Um, and my sponsor at the time died suddenly, uh, just unexpectedly had a heart attack. Um, and around the same time, I had attended a couple of conferences uh, on psychedelic phenomenon. Um, and met some of the people who had done psychedelic research in the past who were doing uh, psychedelic research at the present time. This was in the mid-80s or so. Oh, well, actually, I was invited to that, um, the, the first of that, the, orig the first of those conferences as a result of a paper um, that I wrote when I was in um, California doing my psychopharmacology fellowship. Um, I was thinking at some point, you know, God willing, I was going to be able to do some psychedelic research. And uh, I knew that one of the objections that would be um, presented to try and keep me from doing it uh, would be a statement that psychedelic drugs were dangerous. Um, they caused brain damage, they caused flashbacks, they caused psychosis. So in anticipation of, of, that, of those objections, um, I uh, spent about a year reviewing all of um, the literature on adverse effects of psychedelic drugs. And it was a few hundred papers, actually. Um, but I called the most important ones and um, looked very carefully at the adverse effect literature. Um, and I was able to, with some confidence, conclude that uh, if you gave people psychedelic drugs, if they were carefully screened volunteers, uh, if, if you supervise their experiences carefully, if you follow it up with them afterwards um, responsibly, um, that the incidence of any, really any serious adverse effects was quite low. Um, and I got the paper published in a peer-reviewed journal, um, and it stood, you know, as a review of adverse effects literature, uh, saying if you were careful, um, then the risk of giving psychedelics to humans was rather low. Um, and so when that paper came out, I was invited to talk about those findings um, at a conference on psychedelic research. Um, and I met a number of the, the, the pioneers in the field um, who had done uh, the first wave of research in the 50s and 60s and early 70s, and uh, met a number of the people that were continuing either doing human work underground or doing um, above-board animal research. Um, and... Uh, was inspired. Um, it didn't feel like I was, <clears throat> I was quite working, you know, all by myself as I had up to that point. 